Jeremy Scahill is going to absolutely pummel President Obama into the ground. The United States of America is prepared to use all elements of our power, including military force, to secure our core interests in the region. We will confront external aggression against our allies and partners, as we did in the Gulf War. We will ensure the free flow of energy from the region to the world. That was President Obama speaking yesterday at the UN General Assembly. Jeremy, your response to what Obama said in I mean, his speech? I, when, during this section of the speech, my jaw sort of hit the floor. I mean, he just—he basically came out and said, um, the United States is an imperialist nation, and we're going to do whatever we need to to conquer areas to take resources from people around the world. I mean, it, it was a really naked sort of declaration of imperialism. And I don't use that word lightly, but it, it really is. I mean, he, he pushed back um, against the Russians when he came out and said, I, do, I believe America is an exceptional nation. He then, you know, defended the Gulf War and basically said that the motivation behind it was, all, was about oil and said, we're going to continue to take such actions in pursuit of securing natural resources for ourselves and our allies. I mean, this was a pretty incredible and bold declaration that he was making, uh, especially given what he, the way that he's tried to portray himself around the world. At the end of the day, um, you know, you have this po this Democratic president who won the Nobel Peace Prize, who then goes and stands in front of the United Nations and, and basically uh, stakes out a neocon vision of American foreign policy and, and owns it and kind of wraps it in this cloak of democratic legitimacy. Um, and I, I, I think that, you know, when we look back at Obama's legacy, this is going to have, uh, have been a very significant period in U.S. history where the ideals of uh, very sort of radical right-wing forces were solidified and continued under, uh, you know, Mr. Constitutional Law Professor, Nobel Peace Prize winner. I mean, it really, it's, it's really kind of devastating what's, what's going on right now. And I think that if you take the long view of it and you, or you step back and you look at, at, at it and just don't, don't just see the, the trees, but look at the forest, President Obama has been a forceful, fierce defender of empire. And I think that's going to be the enduring legacy of his presidency is that he was an empire president. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can argue against any point he made there. I think it's all, relatively laid out in front of you, and that's what the facts are. My conclusion is that President Obama, on certain issues, when it comes to civil liberties, when it comes to foreign policy, when it comes to drones, he's just a right-winger. That's not to say that he's exactly like the Republicans on economic issues, although in, on many of those issues he is. But it is what it is, man. I mean, what, two th over 2,000 civilians dead from uh, drone strikes. We actively target Taliban operatives' funerals when we know there are women and children there, right? Uh, when it comes to civil liberties, Guantanamo Bay is still open. He said he was going to veto uh, the bill that allocated the funding for Guantanamo Bay. He didn't. He signed it. I mean, what other conclusions are we supposed to draw? He actually went out there and said, we're going to defend our interests everywhere no matter what. That's code word for we will start conflicts over resources. Another word for that is imperialism. We own the world.